Hey guys, so um, I want to talk about a couple things that I have been dealing with. Um, all right, let me get let me get right real quick. I got some Chick Fil A. Yeah, my pleasure. Let me stop. But I got some Chick Fil A. But I was so mad. I was just so mad because I went to Chick Fil A. I ordered and I asked them, can I get Polynesian sauce and honey? And you know what the lady gave me? One honey and one Polynesian sauce. I was like, really? You could at least gave me two of each or something. She gave me one. I was just like, wow. So I went inside and y'all know what I did? I got all this honey. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. But anywho, um, back to the topic. Um, so I want to talk about self-love and things that I have dealt with in my past, in my future, and things that I don't want to keep dealing with or putting myself through. Hold on, let me take a bite. Let me take a bite. Bruh. I might cut some of the parts of me eating out because that's going to make it super long. So if my food be long, or if I be like, I'm done eating. It's because I cut the video. But, anyways, let me take a sip real quick. Okay. Oh, and um, I don't drink soda really, so this is Powerade. I've retired soda. So, yeah. Okay. So, self-love. Let's start on that. I've been kind of dealing with where I would tell, like, people or myself that, oh, yeah, I love myself and stuff like this. But what I have found out is I don't think I fully love myself yet. Which is not a bad thing because every I feel like everyone has a stage in their life where they're figuring themselves out or figuring out what they want. I'm sorry I'm looking down, but I'm trying to like put sauce on my food. So yeah. But yeah, um so I feel like everyone has a stage in their life where, like, they're figuring out who they really are or what they truly want or, like, even, like, careers and stuff and jobs and school, stuff like that. So, I feel like I have not fully figured out myself or fully, like, maybe even figure out my full worth or potential because it's been a lot of times where I like will get upset this lighting though <laughs> I look freaking hold on. okay block the light okay <laughs> anyways but I would like basically um be sad about a lot of things or try to like make people talk to me when when I'm going through a situation with them or when they don't like if someone doesn't tell me something when they feel some type of way or if I feel like I hurt somebody's feelings and then they don't want to talk to me I try to get to the bottom of it and with that sometimes I let people say what they want to say to me or like basically um say stuff and then can go back and say like oh i only said that because i'm angry when i should know my worth i 
I am that type of person where I go out my way for a lot of people and I may like even stop doing certain stuff because of other people or like like I've done that in a lot of ways I've done it in financial ways I've done it in emotional ways I've done it physically I've done it emotionally where I would put my feelings aside for other people or like other people wouldn't have like their emotions together or have their like um situations in their life together and I feel like I've done this with everything I've done this with friends I've done this with um relationships I've done this with my family like I I'm just trying to find who I really am and know my true worth because I know like it's like I know what I'm worth but then I'm like a person may tell me like oh I love you oh I'll do this and that for you and then boom that can kind of like put me in this trap like well they say this oh I'm gonna believe them I'm gonna go by what they tell me but sometimes you need to truly know your potential know your worth because because it's a lot of people out here that can tell you that they love you or tell you that oh don't listen to other people and they can be the same people that they're preferring to because they could be the same people that downing you just like they telling you not to let the other people do that to you if that makes sense so that's when you need to like know your worth because do you really want to like i had this thought like do you really want to deal with negative or like somebody talking about you or somebody not believing in you or somebody not like um or somebody saying that they're your full support system and just because you have like a flaw or something that they don't like instead of them coming to you and being like you know hey like and you should work on this or hey like I want to support you so, like, you can fix this about yourself. Instead of them saying that, they may tell you, like, oh, you're never going to change. Oh, you're, I don't believe that, I don't believe that you can do this. Or, like, saying that, oh, I can't come to you because I know this outcome is going to happen. That can truly like, I can say this, that can truly break a person because I've had situations like that with friends, family, relationships, all of that, where people would tell me that I love you. People would tell me that, oh, I support you, but what's the main one telling me that they didn't believe in what I could do or believe in what I was capable of, which is sad because maybe that person don't love themselves or maybe that person is going through something in their life themselves that they want to push out that negative energy on someone else not to say that i'm a perfect perfect person because i'm not i'm not a perfect person i have flaws i have things that i do that i do not like about myself and i know i have things that i do that people don't like about me but one thing i do know is i go out my way for everyone and that can be a bad thing. That could be really, really bad. Because I've had situations where I go out my way for somebody. And then when it came to me, they was like, oh, well, you know, I can't do that. Or, oh, well. And that's another thing. If you're doing something for someone, truly do it out of the kindness of your heart. Because if you don't, it's going to hurt you. It may hurt you if you don't have... It may hurt you if you don't fully love yourself. Because if you love yourself and you've done a lot for someone, 
I know y'all probably like, this girl is rambling about, like, so many different things at one time. But, I mean, I think if you probably listen to it a couple times, you'll, you'll understand. Okay, but, um, if you fully love yourself and you know you've done everything in your power, you know that you have accepted your flaws, but have told people, like, hey, I want to change this about myself. And if those people come to you, Instead of supporting you and telling you that, like, oh, you know, you can work on this. Instead, they down you and drag you and tell you that, oh, you're not capable of doing that. Oh, basically, I don't believe that you can do that. Oh, I feel like this outcome will happen. Instead of them pushing you and motivating you to do those things, I feel like you should either give that person space or just completely let them go. Because you need to know yourself. If I'm doing so much for people, and if I'm doing, like, going out my way for people, and they cannot at least give me that support system, whether it's, like, emotionally or whether it's, like, just telling you, like, hey, you got this, you can do this. If they cannot give you that, and they say that they love you, that is not love. That is not that I don't feel like that is true the true definition of love because I feel like if you're a real man and if you're a real woman then you will not down or not or tell someone that you support them when you really don't. You will not be that person that you say, oh, you can, they can depend on you, but then when they come to you, or if you feel some type of way about a situation, you're degrading them, you're downing them. No, I don't feel like that is true love, and I feel like I've dealt with that a lot in my life, that I've always felt that People love me just because they told me that. Like, I've been in situations where somebody, like, a person had... I'm sorry, y'all. I've been in many situations where people have told me, like, I love you. I support you. But then when it came down to me, like, either, like, um, when it came to, like, my problems or me finally, like, being not perfect at the time because a lot of people think that I'm this perfect person and I don't have feelings, that I shouldn't have feelings or... Or that, like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people feel like I shouldn't have feelings. And that their feelings is the only feelings that matter. And that's another thing. If you're friend, if you're in a friendship or if you're in a relationship or anything, and, and you feel like that person, or if that person shows you that their feelings are the only one that really matters, then just let that go. Because... At the end of the day, it should be both of y'all feelings that matter. At the end of the day. And you don't want to be putting... You don't want to be putting all of this energy into something. And I feel like everybody feel this way. You don't want to be putting all of your energy into something... And not even, like, getting the same thing back. Or that person saying, like, oh, I feel like you should do this, but they don't have to do that. Like, no. When it comes to relationships, when it comes to friendships, it should be equal. That that wouldn't That doesn't make sense. Okay, but another thing. Like I was saying, I'm not perfect. I have flaws. 
I have a problem with like, like I said, I have a problem with when I'm in friendships or when I'm in relationships. I have a problem with knowing my worth and I have a problem with um like basically how can I say this I have a problem with knowing my worth and I have a problem with like I don't know if I would say pushing myself onto people because that would kind of be like what you mean pushing yourself onto people I would say like I have a problem with thinking that I always have to fight for stuff. When it shouldn't be that way, especially if it's not 50-50. I mean, well, like 100-100. If y'all both not fighting for each other, and that person is doing like, yeah, I don't really care, or like, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk to you at the time, let them go. And that is something that I'm trying to teach myself. I have a problem with, like, a person can tell me, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. And I would sit there and be like, you know why? Or, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional a little bit. But, um, and I feel like this is good for me to be doing because it takes a strong person to tell <clears throat> tell people their flaws and tell people that you know i know i'm not this perfect person i know that i have flaws but you know we all have to learn stuff we all have to learn so so basically i have a problem with like when people tell me to go i don't know how to like deal with that like i may call them i may like say like you know you should face me or you should talk to me because like or um you should communicate with me you should not text me instead of like calling me and telling me this over the phone or um maybe like why didn't you been tell me this and stuff like that but what i'm coming to realize is that people a lot of people are not as strong as you can be i may can come to someone and tell them how i feel and somebody may not be able to do that i may i may be able to like you know um stick it out through a situation where somebody else might not be able to do that somebody else might be like well i have to leave oh i need a break oh i can't talk to you oh i don't know this and that but i need to understand that I need to know my worth. I should not be chasing after people that I've done everything in my power for them. If that's the case, they're losing out on me. They're losing out on a good person. I should not keep telling myself, well, I don't tell, I don't really tell myself this. This is just something that I've always kind of been like because I've always wanted to feel um love like i've always wanted to feel love i've always wanted to um sorry i've always wanted to like know how it feels to be loved Ugh, sorry Whew. but anyways i've always wanted to know how it feels to be loved and i've always wanted to like have this dream like not dream like family but like this good family you know this this a family that i made on my own that was just different than what i've been through so i feel like that could be another reason why i fight so hard for people because i'm thinking like hey you telling me all this stuff and you you know giving me all these dreams and things like that but at the end of the day there may be a person out there that is dying dying to have a person like you and it's a lot of people 
there's i mean there's not a lot of people there's actually little people in this world that still have a nice mindset and still have a mindset of oh i will give to you without you without receiving anything from you or i will give to you just because you treat me good that's it not material not not buying me stuff not like going head over heels for me some people just want that person they can talk to some people just want that hey you know let let you be my person that i can lean on when i feel like i have nothing and i feel like that's the type of person i am like i don't like material stuff i i never really like people to buy me stuff i've well i kind of never even had that because it's like i never really made people do it for me and you're not supposed to make people give to you but you know i've always asked for little things like hey somebody may ask me hey what do you want what do you want me to buy you nothing just treat me good that's always been the type of girl i am just treat me good But, like I said, I need to work on that. I need to work on loving me. And when people tell me that they need time, they need a break, they they can't be there for me, they, I'm too much, when even... And then it's a crazy thing because some people can say that, oh, a person is too much, but they could be putting that person through heck and back. Like a person, it's weird because nowadays a person can say, oh my gosh, you're too much. And then it could be like the smallest thing. It could be like, hey, you're too much with, like, emotions or something. Okay. So what if that person told you, like, because I've been in this situation before many of times. What if that person told you, like, hey, you know, I'm trying to fix that about myself. Or I'm trying to, you know, overpass that. I feel like if. The person who says that, that I'm trying to overpass this or get past this emotional problem, if that person is the person that's been doing everything for you, that's been, like, you know, riding for you, as people would say, or, like, you know that you may have put that person through so much, why can't you just support them? But if they jump back into that habit, why could not you just say, hey, no, we're not finna do that. You know, we're gonna lift our head up. We're not finna do that. Something like that. Why do people have to be like, you know, how you're always gonna be this way? Does that mean, I think about it this way. Does that mean that that person that's telling that person, hey, you're always gonna be that way, does that person deserve that person? Especially if that person's been doing everything for them. If that person's been like physically, emotionally, emotionally, financially, anything like that, doing things for that other person. Does that person deserve that person? Should that person keep fighting for that person? When they going through that. And that's why I get myself mixed in. Because I have a problem with that. And I feel like. Like I said before. I need to. When people want to go. I need to let them leave. I need to let them. See that. Not everybody is going to do the same stuff. That I have done for you. Not everyone is this good person. Well, not even good person because nobody's perfect. But not everyone has a kind heart. 
not everyone will sit there and deal with deal with a lot of things that people have put people through like i don't know man it's crazy i have had a situation recently that has like helped me figure out myself because i have done a lot for people i have done a lot for people and i'm not gonna say that nobody has done anything for me but i don't think i've met nobody in my life that has done any of the same stuff that i've done for them nobody and that's not to knock anybody that i know because i know everybody not financially stable i know that everyone's not like you know just staying with you but i have not once found it yet i mean i know there's people out there that will do some of the things that i do but i just never found it yet But that is something serious that I need to work on. I need to work on, like, letting people go when they want to go. Because I'm not losing out on anything. Half the time, I think about it. And I'm like, I'm not really losing out on anything. Especially when you know what you've done. You're not losing out on anything. And if that person wants to lose you or if that person wants to say, hey, you know, I don't need you here. Hey, um, I feel this type of way about you. They want to break. They want to they not be friends no more. Because of something so small or something that could be resolved at that. Let them go. And I'm a believer in God, so I don't know if everybody believes in, well, everybody don't believe in God, but I believe in God, and I believe that God would not want a person to keep putting themselves through misery. And God will not want you to have people in your life that just talks down on you because of your flaws or don't even believe that you can get past your flaws he would not want that and there's people out there that will do that they will put you down about your flaws but you just have to show those people like hey you cannot get to me this is not a face to me. You just got to show them that. And build yourself to be stronger. And one advice I would give is if you do pray or believe in any type of religion, pray about it. And anything anybody else who don't believe or do believe i feel like you should sit down with yourself and think about every single thing that you're worth think about things that are good about yourself and think about if the people in your life are worth it and if and if you say, I don't know, or maybe, or, you know, something like that, then that's something else you need to sit down and think about. Or maybe even talk to that person and, like, you know, tell them, like, hey, if this doesn't stop, then we can't be friends. Or, you know, we, we shouldn't talk no more. Or something like that. Or we can't be in a relationship no more. Tell them that. And you know. 
what I've been thinking, like, like I said, if you know that you've done good for people and done everything in your power for people, and, you know, pain is going to come and hurt is going to come, but think about it. Hey, that will go away. Pain will go away. Hurt will go away. And that will maybe lead something better in your life or lead more positive in your life or something like that, you know? And, yeah, I just wanted to share that with everyone because I've been going through um, things in my life and I've been really, like, trying to figure out myself and figure out my word then you know know that I should not always listen to someone when they tell me I should not listen to anybody I should not listen to people who tell me that they love me um or people out in the streets I should not listen to those people because that can Sometimes people, we as people, we can let other people destroy us. And we should not let that happen. We should not let people destroy the character that we are. We should not let that happen. Because everyone has different personalities. Everyone has a different outlook on everything, right? So... Why let someone change who you are if it's not bad or if it's not truly hurting anyone? Or if you're telling yourself that, hey, I want to work on this. Prove those people wrong. I don't care if this is your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom, your dad, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Prove those people wrong. If you want to change something about yourself, just do it. And if they don't want to stick around for it, bye. If they have this weak mindset of, hey, I, you know, this is too much for me, bye. Because it's like, you know, you don't, if you're a good person, you do, you do not want to get, be like that person. Well, not saying that they're a bad person, but some people that do that are bad people. So, you do not want to destroy your character to be like someone that you did not like yourself. Or be like someone that you disagree with, with how they treated you or disagree with the certain things that they did. And that's one thing that I am going through a journey now where I'm learning my self-worth. I'm learning to love myself more. I'm learning that if a person, if people want to be in my life and people want to shed, well, if people want to support me, they will. If people will, if people um tell me that they love me and they truly mean it, they will show me. And if people want to, like, um, oh, if people want to basically sit in your life and tell you that, hey, you know, I'm your friend, or I'm your boyfriend, or I'm your girlfriend, or I'm your family, and stuff like that, or I'm your best friend, and stuff like that, but if they want to sit around, and instead of pushing you, or telling you, like, hey, we're not finna do this, you can get through this, you can get past this. Instead, they tell you, you know, oh, you're never going to be nothing or you're never going to get past this. Push them away. Push them away. Because sometimes when you push people away, not push them away, but like kind of like ignore it and just prove to them that you can do that. Because maybe that person is going through something in their life that they just trying to put that negative onto you. So... I would say kind of like ignore it. But if it keeps, keeps constantly happening, I would say leave that situation. But if it's like, 
okay, they may be going through something in their life or they may not have that right mindset or something like that, you know. Let it, like, let it, ignore it. You don't have to do the same negative things that people do to you. And I'm learning that. You do not have to be negative to others because the thing is you may like get past your problems and then that might click in that person's head like dang you know i was sitting here doing this to that person and look now they don't fix themselves but i'm still here at the same base i'm still here miserable and that makes people think and that makes people want to change or they get that rude awakening and that may want make them want to change also or they get that time where you may actually leave the situation and they sitting there thinking to themselves like, dang, like I had somebody good and I messed that up. I had a good friend and I messed that up. I had a good boyfriend and girlfriend and I messed that up. Or I had this shoulder, but I messed that up. And that is something that I am learning. I'm not a perfect person, but I know that I am a good person and I will go out my way for others. But I just need to learn that I can't go out my way for everyone. I can't keep hurting myself or hurting my feelings because other people are hurt themselves. I can't keep chasing after others when they wouldn't even chase after me. I can't keep giving my time to people who wouldn't even give that time to me. And that's something that I'm, you know, figuring out. I can't keep doing that. So, you know, thank you guys for whoever watched this video. And I will most likely be doing videos like this a lot because sometimes I don't have people that I can actually like talk to so I mean I'm like hey you know I can talk to these people I can talk to these folks or I can like help people who may be going through the same thing that I'm going through but you know always remember your worth always love yourself and if somebody is doubting you or telling you that they don't want to be in your life or telling you that they can't do something or telling you like knocking you for flaws that you have remember they have flaws too and you may have accepted their flaws or you may have been helping them build their flaws so just remember if you want to prove someone prove yourself they may come around, but if not, you know, like I said, hurt is a temporary thing. Hurt is temporary, and I feel like we all shouldn't keep wanting to go through hurt. Especially if we know the things that we've done. Or especially if we know the things that we're worth. Don't keep taking it. So yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Alright, peace.